So what's next? So we have our index, create, store, and show method. So the next step in a resourceful controller is to have the edit. So I will show you how to implement the edit using a lot of the same logic from create. Because remember that the create method has the form that we are looking for. And this is the form. So if we could reuse this form, it would be even better because then we don't have to maintain two forms. So we're going to do a little bit of refactoring into partials to make that work. So let's get right to it. I'm going to close everything up again and let's open the create.blade.php file. And this is the form in question. So I'm going to leave the form itself in this create method. And the reason being is because the action will change from one form to the other. But this is the part that we can use here. So I will take all of this and I'm going to cut it out. And then we're going to put this in a partial. So let's say include customers dot form. So let's create that now in my customers directory, new file form dot blade dot PHP. So we have this. And if we go back, it's still working. Now this CSRF, we can actually move this into form. Let's put it here at the end. There we are. Refresh. Still working. All right. I'm going to save as this create method and I'm going to change it to edit. Remember, that's our next step. Let's go back. Here it is. This is the step that we are on. We're on the edit step. So edit.blade. I'll save that. So we'll say edit details for. And then, of course, we're going to need a customer. So we know we'll have a customer and we can put their name in there. We'll say edit details for. And let's put in the customer name again. OK, and then the button needs to say save customer. And where is this action going to be? Let's go back to our guide. And the action is going to be to the update method, right? So the edit is the form that we're going to change to make the changes. And then we're going to put or patch to this update method. So we know the URI is going to be the resource name and then the resource ID. So let's change that now. That's going to be customers slash. And then we need the customer ID. That's what we're going to be posting to. But you can't change this and just put patch, right? That doesn't work. In order for us to be able to do anything but get or post, we have to use another Laravel helper. And the Laravel blade helper is going to be at method and method is how Laravel gets around the fact that HTTP forms can only have a post or get, which wouldn't allow us to do something like patch or put. And that's what it's calling for It's calling for put or patch. I like the word patch for me. Patch means that you're patching something, you're editing something. The verb put almost feels to me like it needs to insert something like we are putting something in the database. It feels like an insert. So for me, the word patch works better. But you can use either one. You can either use the put or you can either use the patch. I recommend the patch just because to me it makes more sense, but it really makes no difference at all. So with that being said, our method is patch. So what is going to happen is this form will actually post using the method of post. But once it gets to Laravel, Laravel is going to recognize that we actually want a patch request. So let's make that route right now. Let's go to web routes. And let's add another one. And this is not going to be a get. This is going to be a patch. So we're going to patch customers customer. And that's going to go to let's go back here. That is going to go to our update method. So we'll change that now. And of course, we need one more route for edit. So let's add that one now. So it's going to be customers and then our ID and then slash edit. And that's going to go to the edit method. So we have the get edit method right here. And that's belonging to this. And then we have our patch method that will actually save and update our record. So far, so good. So we can close all of this. Let's work on our controller. Let's go to our customers controller. And down here, we need to add another function for edit and another one for update. So let's add those quickly edit and update. 
both of them will accept a customer and we're going to use route model binding again so we know once we hit this edit we will have a customer available to us because laravel using this type hint will automatically fetch that record for us so that's very convenient in the edit method all we need to do is return a view of again convention customers dot edit and we're going to compact customer and then we'll work on our update method but let's get this working first so in my show i want to add a link somewhere over here let's say down here we'll add a link to customers slash then the id customer id slash edit and we'll call this link edit just to keep it simple let's go back here customer list let's pick one and now we have a link to edit so edit and so now we're missing companies which makes sense if you recall going back to our form here add new customer we have this drop down menu here where you choose what company this customer that you're adding is associated to and we're giving that data to that method using this company's all let's go ahead and pass that in let's do the same thing in our edit menu we'll pass in the companies and we'll go ahead and compact companies all right let's go back and try that one more time john doe edit and there we are so we have the edit view for john doe however none of the data is filled out we definitely need to fill out that data so where's that data coming from well at this point we've been using old for that but we can say use old or let's use customer name let's go back here hit refresh and there we go so now we have john doe coming through let's do the same thing for the email so as you can see we have jane doe and we have our email we will handle the status and company in another lesson but i want to start working on being able to save and update the name and email so let's visit our customers controller and let's go to this update method the same as the create method we need to validate our data first this is no different than the create method so we need to revalidate this data this data right here we need to revalidate it so i will actually copy this and once we have it all working we can extract that to its own place so for now we're just going to validate that we have a name and an email so then we're going to take our customer and we're going to update it using this data that we just acquired so customer update data and data again is going to be our validated data and then we can simply return a redirect to customers slash and let's give it the id so customer id that way we go back to the detail page all right let's give it a go jane doe changed save customer and there we go jane doe changed let's change the email now another test.com one two three and there it is but we're still validating so if we hit edit and for example deleted the email it says nope the email field is required and notice that it puts back the original field back on so let's do one more thing let's go to customers list and add a new customer and everything blows up and the reason for that is because in this view remember we're sharing the form we have this old or customer name but customer may not be set so i'm going to leave you on this as a bit of a cliffhanger for this episode but try to figure out on your own how could we make this work how could we have old and a customer name in this value so that we can continue to reuse this form for both the create and the edit so try to find a solution for that and in the next lesson we're going to take a look at it and see how we can fix it